Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Solization 6. So, let's continue where we left off. We got 8 more turns to finish building a nuke, so hopefully we'll get a chance to use it, because I would really like to. And we will also finish the Earth satellite in 5 turns. I think I'm actually going to remove the policies that increase my tourism, because I don't want to win this game too fast. Let's have a look. We are very close to winning the game right now. 223 out of 280 required tourists at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about what you have to say. How many will we get on this turn? Let's have a look. Probably like at least 5 or 10. Let's find out. Oh, right. We need to check on the next turn. Alright, I will not be building any more seaside resorts, for obvious reason, because I don't want to win too fast. And production. Right, it doesn't really matter what we're going to build at this point. Factory. And let's try to find Washington. We found Lisbon, alright. Where the heck is America? Oh, did they get wiped out? Maybe they got wiped out. Who knows? I don't know, but there is an unmet player, so I don't think they got wiped out. That wouldn't really make any sense. They have to be somewhere. Because they have score. Well, I don't know. They might be somewhere in here and not actually have a city on the coast. That is a possibility. Or they might be over here, close to Japan. We'll find out. I mean, we are about to finish the satellite in a few turns, no so borders. we'll find out then. And let's remove some of the tourism policies. In fact, let's remove them all. We can always add them again, if necessary. Spoiler, it will not be necessary, because we'll win pretty soon even without those. What can we get instead? Let's see. Sports media? Sure, plus an amenity. That's from stadiums. We don't have that many stadiums. Let's see. We are not building any more wonders. What do we actually need? That doesn't involve tourism. Oh yeah, we can get a science bonus. So rationalism. And what else? It hardly matters, to be honest. Skyscrapers. I won't be building any more wonders, but sure. Oh yeah, five-year plan. That's a very nice one. And I think that's it, I suppose. Public transport? No. New deal? No, that's a very strange one. Then again, we are making so much gold that new deal actually kind of makes sense. Minus eight gold to all cities with at least three specialty districts. I think this is actually going to be fine. Let's see how much gold we'll lose, because I'm curious. We'll have to wait one turn to see how much gold we'll lose, alright? Oh, we lost around 100. Yeah, that is quite a lot, but we are still making 256. So, whatever. Alright, and production in Ephesus. Let's see, 86 production in here. Build thermonuclear device, 12 turns. I don't think we'll get to finish that one, but who knows, we'll get our first regular nuke in 6 turns. Alright, can we get one more trader? Yes, we can, and we can send him to Ephesus. Builder, because why not? And how many more turns for the satellite? 3 more turns. Looking forward to that. What do you want? <laughs> now he likes us. Well, that might be a bit of a stretch. He will not like us. We are getting massive penalties for warmongering. Which is why almost everyone hates us. Let's check Japan. Japan doesn't seem to hate us as much. So let's have a chat with Japan. Our relationship. Minus 15 because of our warmongering, alright? I don't think we can actually do much to increase our relations. We could get open borders, but we would have to give them a lot of crap in exchange for open borders. 
How much gold would they want? Remove that for a moment. 100 gold? Oh, they actually accepted. All right. Fine. That will give us a small positive boost. And I think that's all we can really do. We could give them some stuff. Okay, maybe not like that. I could just give them a luxury. And that will improve our relations, I assume. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit. Plus one. Alright, fine. And future tech. We got all the technologies. Can we upgrade some units? Not that we really need to. Oh yeah, we can upgrade cavalry. To a helicopter. Nice. And hey, what do you think you're doing? I don't think so, buddy. 645. Yep, let's upgrade that to machine gun and that's a core. And production. Doesn't really matter what we're going to get. What's this supposed to be? Oh, we can recruit core or army directly. Right, okay, that's interesting. What else can we do? Right, it really doesn't matter. We'll just get sword. Which we don't need, but again, this game will be done pretty soon. England has quite a lot of cords and armies. Alright. Five more turns. And two more turns to finish the satellite. I wonder if we could actually get friendly with Japan at this point. It might be doable. He likes civilizations that have strong military and faith and culture output. And what's his hidden agenda? Or, well, not so hidden anymore. Let's see. He likes civilizations that have explored less of the map than itself. Oh, so he will dislike us because of that. Minus five different governments. Alright, he has Merchant Republic. It wouldn't make any sense switching to a tier 2 government. Right, we'll build whatever. A builder, because why not? Fortify. And next. So, satellite. And how's our tourism? In before we win now. 243 out of 282. We should have enough time, especially now since I removed all the policies that increased our tourism. We lost around 150 tourism as a result of that. Okay, and there's the satellite. So this is the first step of the science victory, but it also reveals the entire map. So even if you aren't going for the space victory, it still makes sense to get this done, to reveal the map. Alright, show me the map. Go, go, go. Are we there yet? You said and there we go, we met America. America. So where the heck is America? I'm quite well, curious. I'm also curious about friends. what our relations will be. After all the things we've done in this game. We found a wonder. As it turns out, Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled. So I had to spend Yeah, the view bugged out a little bit. To the people. I don't think this was quite intended. All right, and let's check out the map. So, we know everything. Yeah, America is just on the second continent, but they don't have any coastal cities. Baltimore is the closest one. So, there was no way for me to meet them with naval units. Look at all these mountains. Uranium. All right. Well, let's check our relations. They are completely neutral. All right, so nothing that I've done in this game affects my relations with civilizations that I've not met. Embassy, which means we could get friendly with America. It wouldn't be very hard. He likes civilizations that plant forests or found national parks. Yeah, we could get friendly with him very easily. His government is democracy. So he has the same government as us. How many techs does he have? Let's have a look. Overall, uh, no, score. 
No, overall. <laughs> America, where are you? Right here. 53 technologies researched. And we got 67. Also, Rome actually completed the first part of the science victory, even though they are quite a few techs behind us. Which means AI does target victory conditions quite well. Here's Rome, and he has 49 technologies. So America is the most advanced AI in this game right now. With 53 technologies. Alright. So, what are we going to build next? Well, this is where we would go for the moon landing, I guess. Can we build the thermonuclear nuke faster? Yeah, we could build it one turn faster. Sure, we'll do that. Maybe we'll get a chance to use two. And let's move some traders to that city to speed up the nuke, if possible. Off you go. And we cannot get any more traders. Yes, we can get one more. And Sparta Stadium, doesn't really matter. And trader again. Let's just send all the traders to help with the nuke, why not? Next. We can get quite a lot of extra production. I mean, you could get a ton of extra production with all these trade routes at this stage of the game, because every single trade route is guaranteed to give you at least plus 5 production, if you have the policy active. This one, e-commerce. That's literally at the end of the civic tree, but it's a really nice one. We can accept this. He doesn't seem very happy about it. So if we send 10 trade routes to one city, for example, that would be at least plus 50 production in that city. Assuming we would have 10 valid international trade routes, but that's not very hard. And right, let's send some trade routes. Plus 7, plus 8. So off you go. Next. That's also the same city. Plus 6, plus 5, plus 8. Off you go. Yeah, this will speed up the nuke quite significantly. And we finished a broadcast tower, alright? Well, that's nice. What are we going to build? So where? Because why not? Not that we need it, but I'm just building anything. At this point, I just want to use the nuke and then finish the game, because this game is basically one. It's just a formality. What can we improve? We can build a few farms or plant a few forests. Alright, six turns to build the nuke. And how's our culture? We got 250 tourists out of 283 required. I don't think we'll finish the thermonuclear nuke. But we'll finish the regular nuke, we only need two more turns. And we can nuke Rome, because why not? I'm not sure how you actually use it. I know there are missile silos. And you can also use a bomber, which we do have. The jet bomber. I guess it will be available automatically, I think. Probably. There will be no Seems borders, that way. No boundary. Globalization again. So, oh yeah, Connie, let's send that trader out to the city building the nuke. Globalization, and we got another great person. Great Admiral. <laughs> yeah, because that's super useful. Actually, if we retire him, we get permanent plus 20% production towards units of the Naval Raider promotion class. That is actually pretty nice. Alright, so... And, yeah, just anything. Holy sight. Because why not? Plus 4 is pretty nice. And another trader out. Same story, send him to that city. This would be a pretty good way of building wonders. And considering how expensive a lot of wonders are, I think this is what you will basically want to do for some of the late game wonders. Because the wonders are ridiculously expensive in terms of hammers. And some of them are really nice for certain Vinkry conditions. If you are going for culture victory, for example, the Eiffel Tower wonder alone will be huge. Because with the Eiffel Tower, you can create many more national parks and many more resorts, seaside resorts. And that helps with culture victory quite a lot. So the Eiffel Tower is going to be a very important wonder 
for culture victory. There Probably one of the most important wonders for a culture create. victory. And we have more trade outs. We can probably get plus 8. Plus 7 down here. Okay, plus 7 is good enough. Sabotage production. Sure, why not? We can do that. Future tech. And stock exchange is fine. Industrial zone. Sure. Siphon funds. What about sabotage production? Great work, guys. 90%. Wow, that's really high. All right. Let's just sleep this guy. More trade routes. Plus seven with a city state. Okay. Plus five, plus five, plus six with Rome, but we will be nuking Rome. So let's maybe not do that. We'll trade with Kabul. Disrupt rocketry. Yep, we'll do that. That was Rome. And let's just build anything. Alright, and we can get a lumber mill. Stay where you are. And helicopter. We can... Well, there's no need to explore. We already know everything. So, sleep. Move him out of the way. We can create a fleet. Like that. Alright. So, nuke. One or two more turns. Oh, I think we finished it, did we? Yeah, I think so. Just don't win the game yet. Okay, we will not win the game just yet. That's good. I would like to use the thermonuclear nuke too. Alright, now we might need to defend ourselves if we declare war on Rome, but I really don't think so. We don't really have a direct border other than Birmingham. And we got rocket artillery in here. Let's maybe promote that knight. That sounds like a good plan. And more trade routes. Yep, off you go. And move the rocket artillery into the city. Future tech. Uh, oh yeah, no. Research lab. Can we nuke yet? Let's check the jet bomber. Yes, we can nuke. Alright. Can we nuke without declaring war? Yeah, we can. I assume everyone will hate us, so basically no change from what's happening right now. Alright, how many turns to finish the thermonuclear device? Three turns and five turns. So we will not win the game just yet. Let's maybe wait for the second nuke so that we'll be able to use both at the same time. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. And maybe we can get another bomber. We probably don't have enough time. Can we buy one? I assume we can. Yeah, we can. It's a little bit expensive, but we got over 6,000 gold. So let's buy another jet bomber, because reasons. We actually have two. Let's upgrade that guy. Alright, and we'll wait two or three more turns. To use both nukes at the same time. Fortify. And just get whatever. Farms. My favorite way to end a game with nukes. That's my Civilization V tradition. <laughs> Rome is going to have a bad time. Hey, what do you think you're doing? All right. That is slightly annoying, but we don't really care, to be honest. Is anyone even remotely close to a religious victory? Norway has three out of nine. And we also have three out of nine. I wasn't even trying. All right, so lumber mill. And we need two more turns. House culture. Or tourism, 270 out of 299. All right. We definitely won't win too early. We will get a chance to nuke Rome twice. Rebase and rebase. I might actually have to grab some of the tourism policies again to win the game faster. But we'll worry about that once we nuke Rome. We can switch in two turns, actually. For free. I mean, we can switch any moment we want, but we can switch for free when we finish globalization. So, give me that nuke.
What's the range? Rome itself is a little bit far away. We will not be able to reach that. Let's check the range. I'm actually curious. Oh, the range is pretty good. How many tiles is this? Around 10, I think. All right, we can nuke three different Roman cities. One more turn, so we will do it on the next turn. 300 or 226 out of 298. Just queue up anything. Seaside Resort. One more turn. Are you hyped? For a nuke? Not only that, there are two different types of nukes in Civilization 6 now. I like that. I wonder what the difference is going to be. Both visual difference and the damage that they actually do. I know they will destroy will no borders, or demolish no most of the districts no around flags, the city and, no and then they will have to repair them. So now let's grab all these tourism policies again. So this one, this one and this one. And confirm. Alright, and now we should have both the nukes, and we do. Let's turn off quick combat first. We'll just disable both quick combat and quick movement. Alright, sounds good. And let's do it, let's do it without war declaration. Alright, we'll start from a regular nuke, not the thermonuclear one. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. This will start a war with Rome. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I figured that much, <laughs> but thanks, game. Here it comes. Come on. What? Really? We didn't see it because it was inside Fog of War? Come on, that was the most disappointing nuke of all times. We actually have to move in. Alright, and nuke our own tank. So that's disappointing because I only had one of those. But let's use the bigger one then. I'll nuke my own tank, but honestly, I don't really care. Come on. Don't disappoint me this time. And here it is. Nice. Okay, that looks amazing. I wonder how much damage it will do to the modern armor. It will destroy it completely. Alright. And we can actually deploy our jet fighter to evaluate the damage. So, deploy. Mm, not as far as I thought we can. Can we move in with some units? Because I'd like to see just how much damage we did. Quick movement will be useful here. We'll kill some of these guys. And let's check our relations with other civilizations. What's the negative? Is there a negative? Did they not care about us nuking Rome with no warning at all? Maybe we have to wait one turn in order for that to kick in. Alright. Minus 59 because of our warmongering. There doesn't seem to be any negative for using a nuke right now. Perhaps on the next turn. Anyway, we still have one unused bomber, I think. Or do we? I thought we had one more unused bomber. Alright, I guess not. Let's move in. Oh, yeah, this guy needs a promotion. To medium AT core. We do have a jet fighter. Where the heck is the jet fighter? Somewhere over here. Oh yeah, we deployed it. Right, what am I talking about? Social media. Well, let's just attack then. It doesn't really matter what we're going to use. It's not like Rome really stands a chance. They might have some decent units. There's no way to know, really. I assume they will have some decent-ish units. Rocket artillery. We will certainly use that one. Can we get some vision? I destroyed my own tank earlier. But that was for science. Let's move these guys. Yep, just move everything. 
We don't really need the observation balloon anymore. But I suppose we'll keep it. Upgrade to helicopter. Alright, looking good. Oh, and we got that great musician. I'm just going to queue up anything. Alright. Yeah, we did quite a lot of damage. I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't see that first nuke. Because in C5, that's not what happened. You revealed the area that you were nuking. And you could actually see it, even if you nuked a fog of war location. Oh well, whatever. Oh, barbarians, really? All right. There is nothing like a dream. And future tech again. So, let's move in a bit. I'd like to check Mediolanum. We can't deploy any further. All right. Yeah, we demolished a lot of districts. So, I assume they would have to repair all the buildings inside these districts. Let's nuke someone else. Because why not? We could totally nuke Spain. But I want to see the nuke. It's kind of annoying that we didn't get to see when nuking Fog of War. I'm not sure if that's intended. Oh, the second one isn't finished yet. We need one more turn, right. And when are we going to win the game? We almost won the game. Probably like two more turns. I don't think it will be much more than that. Probably not. Right, let's just start building whatever we can start building in here. Sure, we'll build a holy site. Can we get another naturalist? Yes, we certainly can. Alright, we can grab that then. Aerodrome, Acropolis. We can build Acropolis. No, not this one. Mechanized infantry. And yeah, we do have one more jet bomber. So I'd like to see the attack animation. We can kill the barbarian or something. Nothing you wouldn't expect from a bomber, I suppose. And we can grab the city, because why not? A city we just nuked. So let's just check how much damage we did in here. Yes, keep the city. Oh, we can liberate the city. <laughs> right, because this was a city-state originally. I'm actually curious what the benefit will be. Oh. Well, that's definitely not intended. No. Well, I'm clicking on make peace and nothing is happening here. This is bugged out, as you can see. Well, I found another bug. Go me. All right. Well, that happened. I can't check if I got some envoys. I wanted to see what the benefit is that you get for liberating a city-state. I assume you would get some envoys or something, but how many? And things like that, I wanted to see. But I guess we will not see in this case. Rebase a little bit closer. Right, traders, I'll just send them anywhere. Because this game will be done in literally two turns. Off you go. And more seaside resorts. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower will be so important for culture victories. It will be kind of insane, actually. Marionis? Oh yeah, the rocket artillery. And that other rocket artillery. We don't have any valid targets for a ranged attack right now. Alright, what is Rome going to do? Probably literally nothing. Because it's not like it can do anything. But we'll get one more nuke, so we can nuke one more time. It's a shame we can't reach Rome with the nuke. 
<laughs> yeah, we don't really care. You be quiet or we'll nuke you too. Yeah, yeah. You can yell all you want. Oh, let's check our modifiers with America now. Let's see. Our relationship. Minus 47 because of our warmongering. I mean, I can't blame them, I suppose. That's a lot of negative modifiers. There doesn't seem to be any specific modifier for using a nuke. Especially, like, without war declaration. So that's interesting. Alright. So let's finish this. How's our tourism now? Yeah, it shouldn't take longer than like two or three more turns. And that's probably it. Let's just start a few things. Encampment. Shrine. And back to Rome. We can do some more damage to Rome. It's not like we have anything better to do now. Send the helicopter. And just delete the observation balloon. We don't really need it all that much. I don't have that many Yonis in this area. And the Barbarian is actually attacking us. How cute. I don't think so, buddy. So, the other nuke. Let's use it. What's the range? Well, I might be able to nuke Rome. Yeah, if we take Mediolanum or whatever then we should be able to nuke Rome. We just need a melee unit here. Let's just buy a melee unit. What's the fastest melee unit we can get? A tank. Modern armor. Not exactly cheap, but we got one. So that's that. And naturalist. Let's start a national park somewhere. This will do. Jet bomber. Let's rebase. Oh, I can't rebase more. There is already a bomber here. What's the range from here? Yeah, we can nuke Rome directly. I want to see the nuke, so I'll nuke a tile that we can actually see directly. Here it comes. Nukes are always satisfying. Let's zoom in a bit. Awesome. That looks pretty damn good. Enjoy, Rome. And yep, we nuked the city down to zero, pretty much. Alright. Anything else? Jet bomber, there's nothing to attack, actually. So just skip to the next turn. And let's win. We need less than 10 more tourists. So I can't imagine it will take much longer. And we are almost at 1000 tourism. Promotion available? Sure. Modern AT core. No more nukes, sorry. I mean, we could build more, but the game will end before that happens. And we did what we wanted to. Tested the nukes on Rome. So I assume we also destroyed his spaceport district. Well, he did finish the first part, but I'm pretty sure we nuked the city with the spaceport. Not sure which one that was. Oh, also, you can actually capture cities with the helicopter, which makes it an actual useful unit. So that's nice to see. Alright, let's move. And the rocket artillery. This is pretty tough terrain. Alright. Oh, also, we can actually bombard tiles. And districts. That's one of the things you can do with a bomber. Which is quite nice. If you don't plan to take a city, you can try to cripple it by bombarding tiles and districts. I like that. Military Academy. And yeah, we'll have to repair all that crap.
another jet bomber. We can rebase it to Birmingham. And let's just skip to the next turn. Oh, see the victory cinematic in the full game. Click to continue. No spoilers. One more turn. What? That was the most troll move I've seen in this game so far. <laughs> and in this preview. Holy crap. I mean, it makes sense, but wow. That's a troll end of the preview. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the nukes. I know I did. And I'll see you next time. There will be next game starting very, very soon. Probably today when this episode is up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.